Hello, I am Majid2006 welcome to the channel what we are why, it's the most awkward scenario in the dating world, a rejection. As flattering as it can be to find out someone is into you, it presents a tricky situation when you don't feel the same way. If someone you're not interested in asks you out, what do you say? How do you let them down easily? Do you rip it off like a band-aid or tread a little more cautiously? One of the best parts of dating is the thrill of attention, but when you're not feeling it, it's important to be upfront and honest that you don't want to take things any further. However, how exactly do you go about telling someone you're not interested? We all know, after all, that rejection isn't the easiest of experiences. Is there a way of letting someone down gently or being clear, honest and kind? The whole situation is just painful. Cue internal cringing, in fact, studies show that when we experience rejection, it activates the same areas of the brain that are activated when we feel physical pain. So, when we say the situation is painful, we mean literally painful. It's never fun getting rejected. In fact, being the rejector is also quite difficult, especially if you're trying to cushion the blow. Rejecting someone without coming across as a horrible person is not only nerve-wracking, it can also seem almost impossible. Thankfully, there are some easier, more tactful ways of saying goodbye than simply cutting and running, or changing your phone number. Also, at the end of this video, I will say some prepared sentences for you dear ones. 1. Be honest. They don't say that honesty is the best policy for nothing. Whether you've been on one daytime coffee date or several more serious outings, parting ways tactfully requires the truth, even if it's going to hurt. The best thing to do is to not be hurtful, but be honest about it, says Steinorth. You might be tempted to sugarcoat what you have to say, but that approach will just prolong the process and make things more frustrating for both parties. The key is to be direct, but gentle, she advises. Be direct in your communication, be gentle with your word choices and show kindness by staying away from blaming or otherwise inflammatory language, she says. 2. Do it face to face. In this digital age where we communicate more often via text and phone than we do in person, it can be tough to figure out just how to tell someone that you're not interested. As tempting as a quick text rejection might be, though, it's just bad form, says Steinorth. Face-to-face -face is always the best option. Not only is it the most respectful, it gives the other person a chance to see by your facial expressions and body language that you're serious in your words, she explains. An in-person breakup also gives you the chance to help the other person process what you've just told them should you feel the need to do so. 3. Keep it simple. The simpler, the better. There's no need to give them a 30-minute speech about why the two of you aren't right for each other. Neither of you want to be having this conversation in the first place so keep it short and casual. Try saying something like, I'm flattered, but I don't think we're on the same page. I'm not interested in dating, but thanks for asking. Here are a few more simple things you can say to reject someone nicely. I really enjoyed getting to know you. I'm looking for XYZ, a serious relationship, someone who shares my political views, someone who enjoys the outdoors as much as I do, so I don't think we're a good match for each other. I hope you find who you're looking for. I'm sure you're amazing in many ways, but I have a good handle on what I want at this point in my life, and I don't see us as a good match. I truly hope you find your person. I really appreciate your interest, but I just don't feel the same. I know it may be hard to hear, but I'm not interested in a romantic relationship. 4. Don't drag it out. If you're going to drag it out, you'll likely end up with a lot of uncomfortable silence. The conversation doesn't need to last long, and the more you talk, the more of a hole you'll dig yourself into. You might even talk your way into a pity date which isn't a good thing for either of you. Along these lines, if you know for sure you need to reject someone, don't wait days to make it happen. Do it as soon as possible, make it quick, and while it might not feel good, they may appreciate you letting them know, rather than lead them on. 5. Don't apologize. Saying sorry is like a safety net for uncomfortable conversations. For some reason, we tend to apologize when there's really no need for it. And then we apologize for apologizing, it's a vicious cycle. There is absolutely no reason you need to apologize for rejecting someone. Think about it. What do you have to be sorry for? Not a thing. It's easy to throw out something like, I'm sorry, I'm just not interested, but try not to. Apologizing implies that you did something wrong, and you definitely did not. 6. Stick with, I, statements. Whatever the reason for your feelings, avoid putting the blame on the other person when you tell him or her how you feel. Don't start pointing out all the faults or issues the person has that are leading you to make your decision to reject them. All this will do is inflame the situation and make it more hurtful, says Steinorth. For example, instead of saying, 
I'm rejecting you because you drink too much, or I'm not attracted to you, try a softer approach, she advises. Try saying something like this instead. Over time our interests seem to have taken us in different directions. I will always treasure the friendship we shared, but I think it's time for me to move on now. To avoid even more tension, it's usually best to approach a rejection from an, it's not you, it's me, approach. 7. Don't mention physical traits. Is there anything worse than hearing, I'm just not attracted to you, from someone else? Probably not. Even if that's the case, don't say it. You're already rejecting the person, and it definitely doesn't help the situation if you insult their looks on top of it. 8. Accept that you may hurt them. As with any tough conversation, there's a chance that someone's feelings will get hurt. It's helpful to prepare yourself for every potential response after rejecting someone. It's not easy for you to say, but it's definitely harder for the person being rejected. In a perfect scenario, the person will be totally cool about it. Depending on the situation, though, you might get a response that's emotional or even angry. It's normal to feel bad after hurting someone's feelings, but remember that you're not doing anything wrong. You can't help that you're not interested, you know? 9. Know that what you're feeling is normal. Being nervous before you reject someone can often make the deed seem even more daunting, but it's important to realize and accept that it is normal to have feelings of anxiety before you tell someone bad news. No one wants to hurt another person, says Steinorth. Just remember that some of the, the best decisions, in this case, the decision to reject or break up with someone, often feel like the hardest ones to make, she explains. Part of being a mature adult is being able to make sometimes difficult decisions, so don't be afraid to do what you need to do. 10. Don't give false hope. According to Steinorth, one of the biggest mistakes that people make when it comes to ending a relationship that isn't working is giving the other person false hope. Never give false hope, she says. All that does is prolong the healing process for the other person and it really doesn't put you in a good light either, as the person you are rejecting may feel like you're playing games, she explains. You need to be upfront and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them and let them know where they stand. No one likes being the bad guy, but dragging out a relationship that isn't working or leading someone on who you aren't genuinely interested in can be far more hurtful in the long run. If you feel like it's time to move on, do yourself and the person you're dating a favor and be direct, honest and gentle when letting him or her know how you feel. Hear the experiences of different people. I think you are a wonderful person, but I just don't feel any attraction for you. I'm sorry. It was the first time a woman was actually honest and didn't try to say that I'm too much like a brother. It was refreshing and I gained a massive amount of respect for her. Straight up and honest. After the first date I called her a few days later to see if she wanted to hang out again, and she said, hey I think you're great, but the chemistry just isn't there. Kind, honest, direct. You can't go wrong. I thanked her for her honesty and I have always respected her for her honesty since then. Sorry but I'm not interested in a romantic or sexual relationship with you. Clear, succinct, and to the point. I'm not interested in dating right now, but thanks that meant a lot, dot. I'm not even sure why, but I'm like, cool. Clear, succinct, and to the point. I don't have feelings for you, and I'm so sorry but if I've learned anything it's to not stay and try to force feelings. We were talking for like three weeks but it was an awesome rejection because it also gave me advice for the future as well. Thanks, I'm flattered but I'm not interested, dot. I think you're attractive, but I'm not romantically interested in you, dot. Always nice to pair rejection with a compliment. Anytime I get a straight answer I'm thankful. It doesn't even have to be particularly kind. Just don't play games. Now, if you want to be successful in romantic relationships and know more, subscribe to my channel I made many tutorials for you I will kiss you, my dear.